the more you live in the Spirit. And now what, else, what comes on the bones? What comes on, on the bones are sinews and muscles so they can move even more. What does the Spirit do? The Spirit, first of all, not only does He put your life together, the more you live in it, the Spirit also fleshes out your life. He fills in the gaps of who you are. He fills in the gap. His thing is to make you a whole person. The Lord said that you might become whole, full. That's, what, that's why when Messiah walked the earth, He touched somebody, they become whole physically. Well, we're supposed to become whole in every way. And the more you live in the Spirit of God, the more whole you will become. The more it just, you know, it just kind of cuts across the emotional stuff. It cuts, cuts across all the junk. It just fills it in and makes you a whole person. The Spirit leads to that. And, he, and they have muscles now. Why? Because the, the, what the Spirit does, you know, in life things are dysfunctional. They can't function. The fall makes it unfunctional. But the Spirit makes you functional. The, you know, we got that word dysfunctional. The Spirit undoes dysfunction in your life to make you a functional man, a functional woman, a functional husband, a functional wife, a functional adult. The more you will truly walk in the Spirit of God. I'm not saying the more what you might think is the Spirit if you kind of go off the wall, but the more you walk in God's Spirit, the more you're going to become a whole person and you're going to function. But those muscles, what else does the Spirit give, the Spirit do? The Spirit gives you strength power. The Spirit came upon Shimshon, Samson, and all of a sudden he becomes strong. Remember, that's a misconception. If you, didn't, you, th you know, we, when you and I say Samson, you're all picturing this big guy, this muscular guy like Victor Mature or Arnold Schwarzenegger. That's what you're picturing. The Bible never once says he looks like that. In fact, if he looked like that, he wouldn't need the Spirit to come upon him to become strong. He probably looked like everybody else. And so what happens is the Spirit comes upon him and then he has power. Well, one of the things about the Spirit, and that's what he said, he said, you, you may receive power from on high to make, to strengthen your life, strengthen your, your, your walk, strengthen your emotions, stre make you a strong person. They might say, well, I'm not a strong person. I don't feel strong. Well, those skeletons weren't strong people either. They had zero strength, but the Spirit comes upon the weak and makes them strong. Look what he did to Israel. Israel, weakest nation, doesn't know how to fight, has nothing, nothing at all, beaten down and crushed for 2,000 years. And God changes that all around. God takes the weak and makes them strong. The more you walk in the Spirit of God, the will of God, the Spirit of God, the more you're going to become emotionally strong, spiritually strong, morally strong, strong in the Lord that it says you can deal with anything because we are more than conquerors. And strong to do what you couldn't do without the Spirit. Samson did what he could not do because what happened? When the Spirit left him he couldn't do a thing. So Samson could do what he could not do without the Spirit. So the Spirit gives you power to do what you could not possibly do without the Spirit. To find out how you can receive more of Jonathan's teachings, to receive special free gifts, or get in touch, go to hopeoftheworld.org or call toll-free 1-800-YESHUA-1. That's hopeoftheworld.org or call 1-800-YESHUA-1. That's 1-800-937-4821. You can also get more at Jonathan Kahn's Facebook page or write us direct at Hope of the World, Box 1111, Lodi, New Jersey, 07644, USA.